Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I just had a thought, right? Something just crossed my mind and I thought I would just quickly press this record button. I feel like we beat ourselves up a lot when that relationship ends, whether that person leaves us, whether we leave that person, it doesn't matter how the situation ended. Especially if you had friends and family on the side of the narc or even your side of the family that were telling you about this person and you didn't listen to them, you know. You could see exactly what they were doing, but you always gave them excuses. And I was just thinking to myself, the reason why um, we basically got ensnared by the narcissist is because they used this trait that they actually don't have, and that's empathy, okay? And they know that's the one trait that we, as empaths, we have empathy, us as empaths, that's just who we are, that's how we are. And they knew that they had to use that. So the way they were treating you towards the end of the relationship, the discard, the devaluation, they couldn't come to you with that because you would run because your energy does not align with that, okay? So they knew they had to match your energy. They match your energy to be able to even get a conversation with you, to be able to even get in your presence, to be able to even become your friend or to even become, be able to even take you on a date. They had to mirror you, but they had to use empathy. Empathy was the main thing that they used to get you trapped in that relationship. For example, if you were lacking in some area of your life, which most likely you were, that's why the narcissist was actually able to come into your life and try and destroy you. I never really had a best friend. Um, I don't know why. Is I've had I've I've had friends in the past as a child, but nobody that's just like me. Okay, and I'm I'm seeing so many videos online talking about you know you're a chosen one. That's why there's nobody like you and all that kind of thing. You know, but how I see it was that this is why the narcissist had to mirror you because it's very rare to find somebody like you. They had to mirror you and they had to, you know, give you what you wanted. For example, if you never had a best friend in your life, they're gonna come as your best friend. Your twin, you're gonna be thinking the same things, saying the same things, they're gonna be mimicking you, they're gonna be watching your eyes. Every single time you had an issue in life, they were there to save you, okay? I don't know, maybe your car broke down. They were the only ones you could depend on to call who's actually going to come at 2, 3 in the morning, okay? So they built up that trust with you. You knew you could trust on... You, you knew you could trust them. You knew you could depend on them. You had a kind of friendship relationship that you've never had and you probably wouldn't have again unless you bump into another narcissist, right? But you know what I mean in terms of there was something that made you to become best friends, good friends. They made you feel like no matter what happens, they're gonna be there for you. And with their actions at the start of the relationship, they showed you this. So they, they the reason why you trusted them is not because you're stupid, not because, you know, you just trust anyone. They did a lot of hard work at the start of the relationship to make you trust them, to make you like them, to make you believe them. Look, so many people I speak to, including myself, we say the narcissist is not even our type they're not even that great looking and it's not us being bitter about it it's just us being realistic after looking at pictures of us with the narco the narc themselves we're thinking why did we why we why were we even interested in the first place but you need to understand it was more we're empaths so we're we're, we're we're not surface level so if we love you below the surface if we see potential in you if we see like we did we saw ourselves in the narcissist which is kind of vain when you think about it right but we fell in love with their heart their spirit that they were portraying to us that's why the looks they're not really our type need you guys to not beat yourself up at the fact you got tricked like it could be six months a year Heck, even two, three years later, you will still be thinking, how did I get tricked like this? And you'll be beating yourself up day after day. Even if you're going to be healing in the future, you're still going to be like, oh my God, like, how did I let this person destroy or try to destroy my life like this? Why didn't I see? But you have to go back, go back to your situation. Think about it properly. What was going on in your life? 
what was happening. At the point, the point where the narcissist came in my life, my boyfriend slept with, my best friend slept with my boyfriend. So I was so angry, I was low, I was thinking, I can't trust guys, I can't trust, you know, my best friend, I'm lost, I'm so upset. And at the time the narcissist was my good friend and that's when they came. And all of a sudden we're twins, all of a sudden we like the same interests, all of a sudden, you know, this guy didn't leave my sight. Every, I was with this guy every single day until probably towards the end of the relationship when obviously he would go out cheating and f go different cities and stuff but first day that we got together we he there was a certain trust level there was a certain he had so much empathy for me i cried on his shoulder anytime i had an issue i was cry i that's why i had to go and think back and bring this video to you because I know we say they're evil, they're this, they're that, they're this, but think about the start of the relationship. Think about the fake person. Think about the fake person they portrayed to you. They weren't portraying evil and devil. They were acting like your only friend on this earth. They were acting like they were the only people, you know, that you could trust. That's why you got caught up. You let your guard down, which is completely normal for anybody to do. You let your guard down. And, you know, they, that's what I'm saying to you. I understand where, how you feel and the fact that you might be in denial and the fact that you may not want to leave the relationship if you haven't left because it's like, who's going to get me the way the narcissist gets me? But you have to understand, they get you in an unhealthy way. They get you in a, you two have a trauma bond. They, they, they know your weaknesses, your strengths, what you like, what you don't like. It, the, way, the way they know you is not actually healthy okay that is actually not healthy because they study you especially if you met them online the social media they've already studied you before you know you even met before they even slid in your dms you know you have to be so so careful but just understand don't beat yourself up about this i just need people to understand because sometimes even i beat myself up like how how did i actually let this person do what they did how did i put myself back like this but when you have the trauma bond or when you have a certain connection with somebody and you feel like you're in the same boat, you want to, you want to help them so much, even to a point, you know, even to a point, right? I wanted to help the narcissist and, their fam and his family so much. I had, I was so low. I was on my lowest. I was on my face. I had 10 pounds and I gave my last 10 pounds to his mother, the same witch that kicked me out when I was three months pregnant. This is obviously after this happened. The same woman that, you know, it's, 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 it's crazy. The way that I helped the narcissist, right, to level up in his life. And then when it came to me needing that help, crickets, nowhere to be seen nowhere to be seen and that's why I get so angry about it because I'm thinking I thought me and you were in this together I thought me and you had the same sort of ambition I thought me and you like it was it was way beyond him being my boyfriend and me wanting to get married to him this was I saw him like he was my best friend like he was family and it, I know that sounds disgusting but you know what I mean like he like he got me he understood but it, it was a demonic reason why because he used empathy to ensnare me he used empathy to ins i literally just cried on his shoulder for weeks about so many issues so many issues that i had that i didn't even know i needed to have therapy for i was crying on his shoulder and you know it all makes sense now every single time i had an issue i ran to him and i cried on his shoulder and he was taking mental notes of this okay this is why now if I have issues, I would rather cry in my bed. I would rather speak to God. I literally feel like I can't speak. To, I just I just can't let my guard down like that. Obviously, I'll still trust people and I still love people. But when it comes to me being a low place, me, up, me being upset, I can't call someone up and start telling my feelings. No, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Because the way the narcissist used that and flipped it is absolutely atrocious. But, you know, they used empathy to get you to that place and I need you to understand that and every single time you think to yourself how 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 just remember that they use empathy to get in your mind to get in your head to get in your heart to get in your spirit they use empathy to get re to get deep down so you need to really 
stop beating yourself up about it and learn from your mistakes and um, my book's coming out very shortly. If you need help with healing, my book, The Time to Heal is Now. Ooh, it's exciting, guys. Look, I can't believe this. I'm actually, I actually finished writing this book. But um, my book, The Time to Heal is Now. You can go pick this up. This is a worksheet book. So, you know, it's got um, lots of activities that you can do that will help you heal. I'm here to get you to that healing place that we need to get to. So, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you for the next video. Bye.